What's up guys, it's Josh back here from Inside Wrestling Truth. Uh, last night I told you all the 10 guys that I felt should have never been champion. And tonight I'm going to tell you all the 10 guys that should have been WWF champion that weren't never WWF champion. Once again, this is just my opinion. Um, you know, just my opinion. Uh, let's start off, Mr. Perfect, um, uh, Mr. Perfect, one of the best damn wrestlers I've ever seen in the ring, had it all, man, uh, top to bottom, microphone skills, everything you need, it was perfect, and, uh, some of his feuds he had with Hogan, you know, Bret Hart, were just, I never forget him. Um, I would have liked to see him perfect be champion before Warrior, really. You know, until I would have liked to see him beat Hogan for the, you know, for the belt would have been Mr. Perfect. Um, another guy is Rick Rude. Um, I think Rick Rude should have took him from Warrior at SummerSlam. But, you know, Warrior was, uh, really big to the kids back then. And, um, you know, Rick Rude used to carry Warrior through matches all the time. Uh, but I always thought Rick Rude was capable of winning the WWF Championship. It never happened. He came close against Warrior, but nothing ever came about. Uh, another guy is Razor Ramon Scott Hall. Um... My opinion, I think Scott Hall, Razor Ramon deserved it before Kevin Nash Diesel. I mean, back then, Razor Ramon could work his ass off, man. He was one of the best in the business at the time. And, uh, I just think Razor, Razor Ramon was way more deserving to have the belt than Nash. Just my opinion, you know, but, I mean, Scott Hall had it all. He could work, he could talk. He could sell, you know, he's going to draw, he's going to draw you money, you know, uh, you know, that was before he was drinking and on pills and shit when he was in WWF, he could have carried that company, definitely, definitely right on on. Another guy that was world champion, but he was never WWE or WWF champion, was Booker T, uh, I thought it would have been cool to see Booker T get the WWE WWF Championship. Uh, I think he's well deserving of it. Uh, you know, he was world champion numerous times. Uh, it would have been cool to see him get the belt once. You know, get that WWF Championship. Booker T, by far, is one of the most underrated guys to ever step into a ring. Uh, another guy that never had the WWF title. And I sit back and think about it. He wasn't the best wrestler, but he's the best talker. And that's Rowdy Roddy Piper. Uh, I thought Piper really could have. Piper's one of the guys, though, that don't really need a belt to be popular. But you would have thought sometime in, down the line that he would have been the WWF champion. And he would have draw. He would have draw a lot of money. He would have draw a lot of money if he was WWF champion. I think. Another guy that never. I don't really remember remember winning any titles, but a lot of people loved him. A lot of people hated him, and that was Bigelow, man, Bam Bam Bigelow. He don't never get no props, but he would have been a cool ass WWF champion. Definitely. Definitely Bigelow. I'm a big fan of Bigelow. Always liked his work. Mean, nasty motherfucker. And former hell, you know, former biker gang dude. Yeah, definitely Bigelow. Next guy on my list is a guy, Owen Hart, man. Owen had it all, you know. <clears throat> he was almost as good as Brett. 
some probably even say he was better than Brett. But uh, it would have been cool to see him beat Brett for the world title, WWF title one time. Uh, he was would have been a good champion. Owen Hart would have been definitely a good damn champion. He was good at everything he did, so why would he be a good WWF champion? Really deserving. The next guy on my list, uh, he was a champion in WCW, but he never got the world title in, uh, in WWF, WWE, and that was because of politics. But uh, Scott Steiner, Big Papa Pump, it would have been cool to see him WWF champion. It would have even been cool to him see him world champion in WWE, but we all know Triple H had something to do with that. Uh, a lot of people don't like Steiner, me personally. I think he's one of the coolest heels ever. Uh, back in the day, Monday Night Wars, I can remember Scott Steiner drawing a lot of heat. A lot of heat, and he would have been a cool WWF champion. Now, the next guy on my list actually bought the WWF champion once. But it would have been cool to see him actually win it on his own. And that was uh, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Uh, DiBiase was a killer heel for years. The 80s, early 90s. Uh, I would have rather seen DiBiase champion than Slaughter. Definitely. Because DiBiase and Hogan, man. They had some killer feuds back in the day, if you can remember. It would have definitely been cool to see uh, DiBiase, you know, one champion, WWF champion. And the last guy on my list was always a mid Carter, but he always carried everybody. And that's Jake the Snake Roberts. It would have been cool to see him WWF champion. Uh, the Cut the the best promo of all time. You know he can cut them. He can work. He can carry your company when he's clean. It will be the only downfall of him. It'll be kind of iffy, you know. But I think Jake the Snake definitely could have been WWF champion. And he don't ever get enough recognition that he should. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. Um, that's just my list of guys that I thought should have been WWF champion. Um, but yeah, man. Subscribe. Keep watching. Like I always say, get your money and pay your bills. Peace.